welcome to another vlog i think this is the fourth vlog that i will be posting on this channel for the new year i love that i'm actually keeping track of them this year i want to see how many vlogs we post in 2021 i got bentley a new toy <laughs> i just got back from ikea i had to return my old coffee table the new one finally came in it looks amazing i'll show you guys that in a sec and then i ordered um a cabinet console thing for over here because I need more storage and stuff for um, my store so I needed that and then it'll fill up the space a little bit because it's kind of awkwardly big and my table is not big enough to fill it um, so I'm going to make the most of the space and add some storage and that sounds so hilarious it's a little carrot that like grunts and makes weird noises and he scoops it <laughs> I think he likes it Hello, if you guys are new, please make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for ADDK. You guys are amazing. I love you guys so much. As does Bentley. Uh, make sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and uh, leave a comment down below. Those help out my channel so much, and I love responding to you guys and chatting with you guys in the comments. This is the current <laughs> situation of my kitchen right now. I need to recycle all of this stuff. This is the coffee table. This is what the coffee table looks like. I'm obsessed. I found this on Overstock and it just, it opens up this space so much. I just, I, I love it so much. It fits the space so freaking perfectly. I'm very happy with it. I need to find a tall plant for there. We also finally decided on real plants for the apartment because Bentley is now old enough to understand and he just doesn't really get into things anymore. So. We made sure all of the ones that are on the floor or like his level that he could get into were non-toxic. So this one is just a palm plant to replace the fake palm that I had from Ikea. This one is toxic to dogs if they eat it, but he's never gonna jump up fully on my counter to like snatch one of these leaves off. Uh, so was not worried about that. Um, but these ones do not recommend for dogs because they are very toxic. If you're ever gonna get real plants in your apartment and you have a pet, just make sure that they're not toxic to your pets if you know your pets will get into them. Uh, yeah, this one's beautiful. Got the pot at the nursery that we went to when we picked all these out. Uh, so I have this one over here this little baby for my bar cart now and then I just got a where did it go I just got this for uh, the vase for it or the pot and then I have a fiddly fig in here and I'm gonna see how she does she's beautiful right now we're hoping for the best because she's freaking beautiful we are gonna do everything we can to take care of her the best we can so that is the other one. And then we have a little snake plant in here. And then I only kept this up here because those haven't uh, sprouted enough to, you know, create this effect yet. So once those do grow, um, we will have beautiful vines hanging down from there. But that's pretty much all that we ended up getting we is in me i don't know why i'm saying we I, you guys are like my family and i take you with me when i do all this stuff um so those are the updates i ordered these shorts because summer is coming and i do not have any shorts that fit me so i ordered these ones from levi they're just the 501 high-rise shorts i love their high-rise um 501 shorts so much and then I have this IKEA console table that we'll be building today. I also went to Home Goods um, to get dog toys for Bentley, but I found this in the book section. So I have a book that I can put on the console thing when we get it together. And I'm currently heating up my food from yesterday. Oh my God, this looks amazing. I think this is done. Um, if you have not been to Shake Shack in Laguna, y'all need to go. It is right off the coast and they have the best breakfast food ever. I think they have, uh, I think they're like more known for their shakes, but I did not get a chance to try one. I just got their breakfast burrito and some toast and it's amazing. Okay, that is the most hilarious sounding dog toy I have ever heard in my life. <laughs> But he loves it. He loves anything that makes noise. <laughs> All right, here we have the current situation. I ordered the Besta combination. 
I took his carrot away from him because he started to destroy it and I wanted it to last more than a day, but he knows his toys are up there now, so he goes there and then whines. <laughs> you are too smart for your own good. <laughs> anyway, um, back to this. So I had to build a double and then a single, and then this middle one is supposed to have a drawer at the top and then a door at the bottom or another drawer. And then um, these two are just doors. So we are working on it. It's a little confusing since it's like custom pieces technically. There's no actual directions for the rest of the stuff. So wish me luck on how to figure this out, but I think we are doing well so far. And I got some legs to lift it up, figured these out pretty easily. It's coming together. We are getting there. <laughs> okay, so many hours later it feels like i don't know it's three o'clock i don't remember when i started this but the drawers are officially in for this side love that they're soft clothes and now i just have these two doors to put on and then we will be done with this finally still so many boxes to go through so We'll update you guys when I'm actually done. All right, cabinet is officially built. It is now time to take this off. I got the high gloss one from Ikea just because that is high gloss and they're in the same area. I figured it would look nice. I do want to buy the glass top that they have, but they did not have the glass in stock when I picked this up today. So I will have to be on the lookout for that, but then you won't really notice that it's not one entire piece um i may just stack some books or something on this to kind of take away from it but this is where i'm going to be putting it so this is what this currently looks like bentley's kennel used to be over here in the corner um it is fully put away because he just doesn't use it at all anymore so i have it under my bed in case i were to ever need it again for any reason like traveling or something um but now I just have this like massive open space. These are all things that I am selling on my Poshmark. So definitely check out my Poshmark if you guys want to buy anything. I have a bunch of other stuff on there as well. Um, so the console table is going to go right here. And then I think I might move the bar cart somewhere else. I haven't decided yet. I might have to shift some stuff over here. Uh, we'll see. But let me go ahead and move this over here so we can see what it looks like. For so long, I've been trying to get you out of my head. Oh, yeah. This looks so good in here. I'm picturing like a really big mirror or something over top of it. Um, maybe some art. I don't know yet, but we've got one cabinet. I'm so sorry about the squeaking. These are like nice, soft clothes drawers. The only thing is, like, you can't get to the second one easily. Stop! You have to like pull from the bottom. And there we have it. I love it. This is perfect. So this is the combo that I got. You can buy this exact combo on Ikea. Like it shows this picture with those legs. Um, I think it was about 330 altogether. But for a console table or a little side table for this wall, this was the perfect thing that I could find. I'm exhausted. I cannot wait for my couch to come. Today marks exactly week 10, so I think I'm gonna call um, Living Spaces probably this weekend if they're open. Otherwise, I will call them on Monday and see if I can get an update because apparently they don't call you until like the day before and then they give you a three hour window. So hopefully couch will be here soon and then this space will start to look complete. I just love this coffee table so much. When it's not a mess, it looks super cute. I have no idea how I'm going to style this little console yet, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going to put this yet. I feel like I can't even think right now. I'm so exhausted from building that. Okay, I will find a home for this in the meantime, and then if you guys have any suggestions on where I could place it, I could put it all the way back there in the corner again, but I don't know what I want to do. We'll see what happens. I'll let you guys know more updates to come. Okay, I also got four of 
these little box things. You are sitting on the other one right now. These are honestly just like super cheap cardboard boxes, but I didn't want to spend a ton of money on them because I didn't know where I was going to use them. Um, but now that I have that um, console together, I'm going to use them in there because they actually fit perfectly. nicely and some of them don't but that's what you get for actual boxes um, and then they just have a little lid which is nice so I can put like files and paperwork and other stuff in here and I'm going to put these in this side I'll show you guys what they look like in a sec these are literally perfect that one got a little broken, so I'm going to put that in the back side. Not that these are even going to be open, but this will just keep stuff a lot neater and nicer. So I have those two down there. And then I put the other ones at the bottom of there. So just kind of like uniform. Um, and I will figure out over the weekend what I'm going to do to organize and store stuff in here. It's mostly going to be my inventory, which I still need to organize, but we're actually sold out of like almost everything, so I don't have anything to put in here and organize at the moment, um, but I am doing a restock, hopefully, this next week. I don't know. I'm, I'm seeing one of my vendors to get a bunch of inventory for you guys very, very soon. Um, so then I will have stuff to organize, and then we will have a restock on the shop, so make sure you guys are following me on Instagram if you... Um, want to know about the restock before I let you guys know over on YouTube. It's the next morning and I'm waiting for the rain to start pouring down. Hi, <laughs> hi, handsome. I love you. Hi, sweet boy. So my water thing is like going off right now. No idea what's happening. But this is my usual spread, my usual thing every single morning. Um, so we have my gratitude journal, um, my notebook, um, and then this is the book that I'm probably going to finish today. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I haven't started writing in this yet, but I think this is going to be like my dream journal or something. We'll see. And then my daily stoic. That's like my hello, my morning lineup also just love how this looks in here it looks so good so um, I need to read my daily stoic still and then I'm gonna get into reading while I wait for the rain to come it's gonna be a very chill Saturday honestly we've got we don't really have much going on I'm waiting for a package to arrive today and that's about as exciting as it gets I think I'm gonna light candles and have the cozy vibes in here. And then this one is my favorite from House of Intuition. It is their prosperity candle. And I love it. Uh, this died. Wait, no it didn't. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> I need another one of these as like a backup because I feel like this dies so quickly. Luckily, I have one of these. So we can just light this. I love it. I liked the 
this little entry today. The truth about money. This is a good one. Um, if you guys haven't checked out the Daily Stoic and you just want something uh, simple to read every morning, if you want just like a little daily entry to read, I highly recommend this. I like it. Some of them are a little like, eh, and then some of them are actually like pretty good and I enjoy them. So I feel like some of them are kind of hit or miss. But I do like having something to read like this every single morning. So now it is time to finish up reading my book. We have three chapters left still, or maybe two, because I read a little bit the other day. So we don't have too much left. Um, but I'm just going to sit here today, wait for the rain, and just get cozy and read my book. And I made myself an iced coffee. I took back my Breville espresso machine which i asked you guys for like suggestions in the other day i took it back it gave me too much stress just to make coffee i literally found myself not wanting to make coffee or use it in the morning because it just it was too stressful so i took it back um i used a gift card for it which was nice but now i have to wait for the money to be back on my amazon account and then i think i'm just gonna get um a new Nespresso machine that I've been looking at and possibly like a second actual espresso machine but one that's like a lot easier to use uh, because the amount of money like the machine that I got the it was like 700 and something with like tax and everything I think I only paid like $50 out of pocket but with the money that I had on the gift card I could have bought the two machines that I'm now looking at versus the one machine that I got and honestly, I just, I didn't love it as much. So, I'm going to take it back and get something that I do love. So, we'll update you guys when I figure out what new espresso machines I get for my kitchen. Because uh, I was very really excited about the Breville. I was talking about it for a few months. And it just, it did not meet my expectations. I don't know, maybe I didn't give it enough time, but... It stressed me out way too much for a morning coffee machine, so we said no. We're gonna figure something else out. Thankfully it arrived all in one piece. Um, I just dug into it. These are the Border Benedict from Broken Yolk. They're so freaking good. So I'm about to dive into that. Um, and then I got a little side of fruit. I'm also really craving a mimosa. I've had this champagne in my fridge for quite some time. I've literally had this since New Year's and never drank it. So we are gonna have some mimosas today. I do have juice back here behind all of my beverages. I'm a big beverage gal, if you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> okay. This is definitely expired. Dang it. Ah, I don't have any other juice. We're gonna test it and see. Um, it honestly smells totally fine. I'm just gonna do a little taste test. Cause I mean, I had one last time we did this and it wasn't expired and it tasted horrible, so. Oh no, that tastes so fresh. It was like really sealed when I opened it. So I think we're okay. It tastes totally fine. The other time it did not taste good. Success, I am very happy about this. We've got our Prosecco. My cheers to you guys. Thank you for 82K. We are celebrating that today. You guys have never had pineapple juice in a mimosa. Like 12 out of 10, probably the best tasting mimosas that I've ever had. I don't know why, I low key just like them better than 
orange juice, but pomegranate juice is also 10 out of 10. Cheers, guys. I don't want to actually hit the camera because you're like balancing on a very uneven surface right now. So good, so good. Okay, back to breakfast and our very chill. I almost said Sunday, it's only Saturday, and our very chill Saturday. If you were wondering, because it doesn't normally look like this in the restaurant, this is what I got from Broken Yolk. I love this so much, literally so dang good. Their classic eggs benedict is really good, and they have like a chicken and waffle benedict, which is like 10 out of 10. I almost ordered that, but then I was like, nah, I want this. I've been craving this. Also, this mimosa. Just this whole vibe today. Like, despite all of the things that have been going on in my life recently, my neighbor was really annoying all of last night. I didn't even mention that at all. He was just like stomping around in his apartment, but honestly, whatever. At this point, I'm just trying to make the best of each and every single day that I have, and uh, Bentley and I are doing well. I am enjoying the little things today, like ordering takeout breakfast, which I literally never do, <laughs> and having a mimosa and just chilling on a Saturday morning, reading my book. I do have to film a video today. Maybe I might push that till tomorrow. We'll see, but I'm just, I'm loving this and the rain outside. I don't know if you guys can really see, but we love it. We're happy, huh? We're happy, huh? I don't have the ball. <laughs> it's right here. You have both of your balls right here. What are you doing, bud? There you go. I just finished up this book. I like it. If you guys are looking for an easy read and something that just is a cozy read, it is literally a cozy book to read. Uh, definitely recommend checking this out or if you're just looking uh, to find a way to make your life more cozy and learn a little bit more about um, some other things and stuff like that, definitely check this out. Now that I have read this, next up on my list. So I have Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself and I also have this book, which I think I might read next, Think and Grow Rich. Uh, my friend recommended this one. She's, I think she said she just finished it and she really liked it. So I think this will be my next pickup. And then I think I will get to Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself probably next month or the month after that, whenever I finish reading this. But I'm pretty happy because my goal was to finish reading this by the end of January and I actually stuck with it. I only had to read six pages a day if I wanted to finish by the 31st, but I ended up just reading a lot more each day because I just, I got more into it. So setting little goals for myself, I'm proud. This is the first book I have finished of 2021, so I'm very happy about that. And now on to the next. I just got back from my walk with Bentley. It started downpouring while we were outside, so I kind of had to like run back home. Uh, thankfully, I like threw on a, a beanie before I went out because it was so cold so saved the hair you guys I'm literally so excited right now I'm gonna give you guys a mini sneak peek of what is to come on LJ the label these are beautiful so these are the samples that I got in I designed some stuff and I wanted to see what looked good uh, color wise so these ones are definitely gonna be a no for me the color did not come out how I wanted it to. This was supposed to be like a really pretty beige and it looks more like gray, just not the vibe I was going for. So we're just gonna nix that design, not doing it anymore. But here's your little sneak peek. I'm so excited to launch these on the store. Uh, so we will have these two designs and I'm coming out with two other designs. Uh, I'm getting the samples in hopefully next week for those ones. So those ones probably won't be stocked for a little while if they do work out. And then these are the other ones that we have just very simple i love writing um just literally lists of like to-do lists or just random lists of anything in the day like grocery lists anything like that so i just wanted like a dedicated book for that and i love that i got to design all of these these are so cute very simple very my vibe i wanted to create something that you could also leave out in your home that could be a decor as well whether you use it or not or you finish it up you can still just like leave it out as decor let me show you guys the insides of these. I love that they all came like individually wrapped because when we launch them, that will make it really easy to ship them to 
to make sure that like the coils and everything stay really nice for you guys because I don't want anything to be getting messed up. So very excited for this. So I didn't do anything on the front cover. I thought I did. Oh, I did on the manifestations one. And then they're just the dot grid notebooks. These are my personal favorite and I feel like they are so difficult to find, um, especially ones that are like coils. So I'm so excited for these. And then it just says XO Catherine on the back. And then the back is just white. So all of them will match. And then the list of things is the same all throughout front and backs match. And then I'm so excited for these manifestation ones. Let me open one of these. I have been wanting a dedicated journal for just my manifestations. And again, I wanted something that was decor that <laughs> I could leave out on my counter because all of the notebooks and books and such that I have just, they don't match the vibes of my apartment. And I feel like it's so difficult to find stuff that does. So let me show you these beauties. I'm literally so excited for these. I have spent the last few months just figuring out the exact design and the exact look that I wanted for these. And they came out perfectly to a T. I'm so excited. So in here, it just says, may all your manifestations come true. And these ones are the dot grid again. And then it just says XO Catherine at the bottom here. And then the back is black as well. So. These just, these are beautiful. They're gonna look so nice. Just, how stunning does that look? Just as decor pieces too. Like, I just love this so much. I'm so excited. So, these will be coming to ldthelabel.com very, very soon. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram if you wanna know the exact day that I drop these because I will be announcing that on my Instagram. And then, of course, I will let you guys know on YouTube, but it probably won't be till a few days after the launch. So, definitely go follow me on instagram if you guys want to know when these babies launch i'm so excited are you excited bubs he's like mom i'm too tired that walk wore me out i am so excited for this i cannot wait to start writing these <sighs> you guys they're beautiful they're stunning i love them so much and i'm so happy these samples came out perfectly all right i just went to online and placed the order since the samples were good i went ahead and just processed the order so they should be here by next weekend i will obviously update you guys on instagram like i said so definitely follow my instagram if you guys will see when those launch i'm so excited ah oh, they turned out so perfect i'm just I'm obsessed. I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on them. I think it's time to hop in the shower now because I feel very gross after <laughs> taking him for a walk because it was raining and then I was sweating and it's just not a fun combination. So time to hop in the shower. It's also just beautiful outside. I can't get over how beautiful it is. I got some fresh eucalyptus for a shower. She's looking good. I get it at Trader Joe's in case you were wondering because I get a lot of questions about that when I do have it hanging in here. Well, weren't you just all cozy in my bed while I took a shower, huh? You've been so cozy without me. Is it nap time? Yeah, you want to take a nap with mommy. We snuggle up? Okay. Also, I should probably finish <laughs> my mimosa. I uh, forgot about that when I went for a walk. Skincare and shower are done. I need to brush my lashes, though. Yeah. Also got a new moisturizer. Hello. This is, I don't know why I said that, it's because someone texted me. <laughs> um, this is the new moisturizer that I've been testing out. Usually I will use this during the day. And then my Youth to the People one at night. Those are just like my two go-tos. I absolutely need to clean my apartment this weekend. Honestly, maybe that is what I will do tomorrow. I'll do like a self-care Sunday vlog or not even self-care it's literally just cleaning my apartment i don't know cleaning, cleaning something like that i'll do something like that tomorrow i'll probably film it um because i feel like i've been neglecting my apartment because i've been 
so stressed out with all of this neighbor drama stuff that has been going on. Um, I also just want to say thank you to everyone who has left me suggestions or kind comments um, and thank you to everyone who's been DMing me, sending me information and other very very helpful stuff. I appreciate all of you guys so much. You guys are literally the best. You're like a second family to me. Um, I appreciate it. I just I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate you and your suggestions. Uh, my phone is still in there. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do yet. It's going to cost me double digits in the thousands to get out of this place. There's just a lot that I need to consider. Um, I don't think any, anything is going to happen relatively soon. I think, if anything, it's going to be in the next three to five months that we will be able to figure this out. So I'm just taking it day by day, enduring the annoyance and the pain <laughs> that my upstairs neighbor causes me, but... It's fine. We have had a really good day today. I've been ignoring the noise that has been coming from upstairs all morning. Um, and uh, I'm hoping tonight will be better. Bentley and I hopefully can get some peace and quiet tonight. We'll see. But he's already ready for a nap. I think I just want to lay down, not worry about anything. I kind of want to watch a movie. I was on TikTok earlier and someone was talking about the proposal and they were like doing a scene from it, the one where um, she's like chanting in the woods with the grandmother and I was watching that and I was like, you know what, I think I want to watch that movie today. So I think I'm going to find it on Google Play. That's usually where I like rent my movies from. Um, so I think I'm going to rent that today and watch that and probably just read a little bit more. I don't have too much going on today. This is all I had to do was really film and uh, hang out with you guys. So I hope that gives you guys an update on the situation. Um, I know I would love to get out of here tomorrow, but it's just it doesn't seem like that is going to happen anytime soon. Um, I just I really don't know what to do about the situation. Uh, it's not fun and it sucks. But I'm trying to make the best of it because I genuinely just, I love this unit so much. It is the biggest studio apartment I have ever seen in my life. And at a studio apartment price, which makes it just such a steal. And it's so hard to want to leave when I got such a good deal on this. But my sanity is slowly slipping away from all of this stuff that has been going on. So I will obviously give you guys updates whenever they happen. Um, <laughs> if we have a really, really good month on YouTube and the store, I might be able to put enough funds together to do everything at once. It's just, it's so expensive for me to leave this complex because one, the lease break fees are insane. Not to mention I have to pay cleaning fees. I've spoken to other people that live in this community and they still charge you cleaning fees on top of your deposit. So. I know that they would hit me with something because you guys already know their attitude towards everything. Um, and then I would have to pay a new app fee for a new complex, a new deposit for a new complex, and then rent for the new complex. And plus I'd have to pay another 30 days, like I have to give a 30 day notice and then I can break the lease. It's just, there's so much that goes into it. So all of the funds added up into one total is like double digits in the thousands. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of money all at once to just have to give away to get out of here. So um, that's why it's really hard for me to just jump on it and leave. Trust me, if I had the extra money just like casually sitting in an account that I could just give up, I would. Um, but unfortunately, I just can't do that at the moment. Um, so... I'm going to estimate three to five months and hopefully I can save up enough in those next few months to pay all of the fees at once. I think also once I pay my taxes, that's the other thing that I'm really stressing about because I did make a lot more money on YouTube and my business this past year. So I am going to pay a lot more in taxes than I have ever in my life. So that's another big chunk of money that I've had to have saved away. Um, so I think... Once all of that is taken care of and I have gotten rid of <laughs> that money for taxes, um, then I think I feel like I'll be able to think straight and 
figure out things and really decide what I'm gonna do. Um, I also go back and forth every single day on just sticking it out and dealing with the BS that I deal with here and possibly buying myself a house instead. Um, I just, I don't know, I go back and forth and I mean, yes, the situation is horrible and it sucks, but it's not at this moment like life-threatening to where I need to leave this unit ASAP. Um, it's just very inconvenient and uh, yeah, so that's, that's the way that I'm looking at it is I'm grateful to still have a place to live that I, I genuinely feel safe in. Uh, it's just the disturbances for my neighbors and the leasing office and all that other stuff. Um, so I'm going to take it day by day. I will obviously give you guys as many, many updates as I can as the months go by on where I'm at and what happens. Who knows? I could get a really amazing brand deal or like multiple amazing brand deals in one month and that could be the, the bit of extra money that I needed to just be done with this place. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Who knows? I try to put it in the back of my mind every single day and not really stress or think about it. And, you know, I woke up this morning and decided that that's what I was going to do. I wasn't going to stress or think about it today. And I honestly haven't really that much. Um, so it's been a really good day. Okay, with that being said, I am going to just <laughs> hang out with Bentley. And uh, we're going to watch a movie. I'll catch up with you guys later. We'll see what happens for the rest of the day. All right. I just rented it <laughs> on my phone. I always do that on my phone. And then <laughs> when you go to the app on your TV, it will automatically pop up. So Bentley and I, hi, <laughs> we are going to sit here and watch this serve. <laughs> um, yeah, this is, this is going to be the rest of my day. Let's go. I'm excited for this. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen this movie, you need to. It's hilarious. Okay, before the light completely disappears in my room, I have this tray. Oh my goodness, this thing is so heavy. This is like legit concrete. Um, this is like a concrete tray from Amazon that I've been wanting to style. So I think I'm actually going to use it here. I've been trying to figure out what part of my space I wanted to use it in. And I think I actually want to put it in this corner right here. So let's see how I can style this. Okay, kind of like it. I feel like it cleans up my nightstand a little bit more because everything's like consolidated into one spot. Um, so I think I'm a fan. I will link this down below if you guys want to pick this up. But I like it. So cute. It is still raining outside and I am almost done with the proposal. We've only got a little bit left, but I just wanted to do that before all the light ran out so you guys can see what this looks like. I forgot to end off the vlog last night. So that is going to be it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love and appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much for your kind words and your suggestions on my last vlog with my neighbor. Um, I'm going to do my best to figure out whatever I can do. So updates to come. So definitely make sure you are subscribed, leave a thumbs up, and don't forget to leave a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. All right, that's going to be it for today. I'll see you guys in my next video.